Hi everyone, I'm Ashraf Jamal. I'm here to teach you a lot of things and these things are very important and this will help you a lot for your class 10th computer application. So those who are new, uh, please subscribe my channel so that when I'll just upload any of the video, it will be there. You can easily see my video, watch my video and press the bell icon also so that you can get the notification. Every time when I'm just going to upload a video, you will see the notification and this will help you to identify for my new videos. Okay. So let us start. So this is the distribution of marks and periods. So this is according to the new syllabus. So networking, the marks is 15, HTML 25, cyber ethics 10, practicals 50 marks and total 100. So this is also the part of unit one. The topic which I'm going to discuss today is URL and its parts. Then email terms. So these I'll just discuss in this video today. Okay. So what is URL? This term is very, very common. You must have heard what is this term. URL is the address of any resource on www. So what is www? www is interconnected servers which are spanned throughout the globe and hypertext documents and resources are stored there which have a unique address. So with the help of URL, we access those resources from the www. Okay. So URL is an acronym for uniform resource locator and is a reference means an address to a resource on the internet. A URL has two main components protocol identifier for the URL HTTP slash slash example.com. So HTTP is basically protocol. The protocol identifier is HTTP resource name example.com is resource name. The URL is made up of four components, a scheme, a host, a path, a query string. So now let us see in detail. So if the URL is here, so HTTPS is a scheme, www.digitalgsm.com. So .com is a TLD that is top level domain and digital GSM is SLD means second level domain and the complete is called as host name. Then after slash, then name, then slash. So it is path. So path is separated by slash sign. Then question mark source equals to Google ampersand medium equals to search. This whole uh, string is query string. So after the question mark and the ampersand sign. So it is a query string. The scheme. The scheme identifies the protocol to be used to access the resource over the internet. When we are going to access any resource on the internet, so we have to specify the scheme. The scheme is the protocol. So the very popular protocol is HTTP, that is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And then HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. FTP, that is File Transfer Protocol. FTPS file transfer protocol secure mail to gopher usenet and many more okay so these are a scheme host name a host name is nothing but a name equivalent to ip address 
to recognize and memorize internet resources. The resources which are stored on www has an IP address. An IP address is basically used for the machine or the computer. It is difficult to memorize for the human being. That is why for each of the resource IP address, an equivalent domain name is allocated. Like when we talk about google.com, so google.com is very easy to memorize, but actually it has an IP address. So you can access this site by IP address as well as the name or domain, okay, domain name. So there can be top, low, uh, top level domain that is TLD or second level domain that is SLD, okay. Then path, the path is separated with a slash sign as I just uh, showed there in the example. Then query string, query string follows the path and provides a string of information to the resource or file. Query string starts with a question mark and separated with an ampersand. Sometimes when we try to access particular uh, portion of the resource from that www, so we specify that query also, okay? So all these are the parts of URL. I hope it is clear. So parts of URL are scheme, host name, path, query string. Next topic is email. Email is very common, very popular, and we use it in a, our day-to-day -day life. So email is electronic mail. It is a method of exchanging messages between people using electronic devices, means computer. So email is very popular and it is used by most of the people. And these are the terms which we are going to discuss of email. Address book, location that you save all your friends' email addresses. So you can save the email addresses in the address book or contact list. Two, two is the term when we are going to send an email to anybody. So we just write the email address of a person or the recipients. This is the place to type in the email address of who you are sending the email to. From when we receive any email, so the email address from which we have received the email that comes under from. Then CC, this stands for carbon copy, a copy of an email message sent to multiple recipients. Means when we are sending an email to multiple recipients, so under CC we can just add many email addresses and each of the recipient will see the list of entire recipient. Means the email which you have sent will be visible to everybody, means it will be shown to all of the recipients that this particular mail has been sent to this much people, okay? BCC, this stands for blind carbon copy, a copy of an email message sent to multiple recipients, but the email addresses will not be visible to other, part, uh, other recipient. The other recipient will not be able to see that to whom the same message has been sent. So this is the difference. Means in blind carbon copy, if we send email to multiple recipients, the same email to multiple recipients, the other will not be able to see to whom it has been sent also. Okay. Subject. This is the subject of the email. When we send an email, we write some subject, means regarding, regarding what we are just sending the email. So that is subject. Inbox, when we open our email account, in the inbox section, it shows all the received mails, okay? Compose, when we are going to type a new mail message, so this allows us to type in your message before you send to the recipients. Drafts, when you finish creating your message, you can save a draft copy to allow you send the email in some other time. Suppose if you have written an email, but you don't want to send it now, you can save it as a drafts. Outbox, 
this is where all your completed outgoing mail resides before you actually send it. So when you are going to send some mail, so it will be sent to the outbox and then from there you can send it. Send items, this is where all your email goes once you send it to someone else. So all the emails which you have sent to someone will be there in sent items. Spam. So this is the folder that contains the junk mail that you received. Means all those mails received from unknown sources like advertisements, received mail from different different companies. Then deleted items or trash. So when you delete an email, so this is stored in trash or deleted item folders. Reply. So when you have received some email, so you can reply also so that the original email which you received will be also there. So this option helps to reply to the person that sent us the email. When we reply, the original message that was sent to us is included in our response. Means the original received message will be there and your reply will also be there. Reply to all. So if you have received mess, uh, email from somebody and if you have number of CC list, so you can just reply to all of them in just one step. So you can choose reply to all so that the message can be sent as reply to all the CC list, carbon copy list. Forward, this allows us to take an email that we have received and send it to a different person. Suppose if you have received a mail, you want to exactly forward it to other people as it is. Attachment, the email can append or add files along with the message. So we can send any text file, any image, video, etc. Bounces, these are messages that do not reach their intended destination. Sometimes when we are sending the email, it is not reached there because of some reason. So that is known as bounces. Hard bounces, when you are sending an email and the email address is invalid, so this is called as hard bounces. Soft bounces, when you are sending an email to a particular address and if the email box is full, or for any similar condition or situation, if it is not received, so it will be known as soft bounces. Email harvesting, an often illegal practice in which one uses a program to scan web pages for the purpose of collecting email addresses to spam. Means there are multiple people who try to get the email from various sources and later they try to send spam. So these, this is an illegal action, illegal practice, and it is called email harvesting. So often the hackers and the crackers use email harvesting to get the email of many people. So thank you. Again, I request please watch, subscribe, and share this video, and I hope you, you would have liked this.